Welcome back to Transport Fever, folks. Before we get into the game, we have had a little giveaway running this week where you had the chance to win a free copy of Transport Fever 2. And only one person seemed interested in uh, winning a copy. So that person and one has won, and that is Matthew H. 1988. So congratulations, Matthew. You have won a free copy of Transport Fever 2, and you will have that uh, as a gift on Steam uh, within uh, a short while. So congratulations, and I hope you enjoy the game as much as I am. It's a fantastic game, it's a lot of fun, and it's absolutely gorgeous. So, again, congratulations Matthew H, 1988, on a free copy of Transport Fever 2. Now, now that we have done the competition part, what are we going to do today? Well, down here we have Manila, and Manila wants tools. We have a tool factory here, and for tools we need planks. Now, up here we have a plank factory, or sawmill as it's technically called. And we're going to take wood up to the sawmill and then take the planks down here and deliver the tools down to Manila. So that is the plan. Now, I have figured out how to move industries, how to delete an industry and make a new one. So we're going to do that and we're going to delete uh, the Shanghai forest up here and move it down here next to... The, the tools factory so that we can send planks or uh, wood logs from down here up to the sawmill and then take planks back down to the tools factory and then send the tools down there. So that is the plan for today. So let's start by bulldozing this uh, forester or forestry, I think it's called. Forest, it's just called a forest. Fair enough. And we're going to put the forest in down here somewhere. Uh, let's see. Uh, if we first bulldoze this road, that might be useful. Then we can stick in forest here and that will be very very practical for us so like that and then we will put in the road again on the road again all right so that's done and then we do need to hook up here so i think we might not have to but we're going to for good measure. Oh, there. Alright. Very good. Now I am going to turn off pretty much everything. Oh, and one thing I also want to do is I want to take the date and set the date speed to 1. And then I want to let the game play on so that we have some money coming in. Alrighty then, now, next project will be to put in the train station, and let's see, buildings, uh, cargo terminus, we want it to be a long one, and we might have to take that road out again, yeah we do, we do, alright, fair enough. There is enough. Just take it out like that. Now I do know that we have a sawmill right there, but I don't want to use that. I want the train to have to go a little bit further. So rail. And let's put in our train station. Just put it in right here. And then we can start putting in the roads again. 
Mm. It's actually going to have to go come up here. Let's take this back a bit. Move this back a bit. And let's just make our entry and exit. Oh, wait a minute. Do I want that to be a terminus? Uh, I guess not, actually. I want it to be a through station because we need to take the tools down here, don't we? So let's try that again. Now, if we put in And that needs to be with two. There are two tracks. Stick it in something like that. Now, if we do that, can we then reach? Is the question. We should be able to, I think. Put that in there. And then put that in. There. And are you reaching? You are reaching both of them. Good. In that case, all this road shenanigans was for nothing. That's okay. We'll live with that. Right. Rails. Let's Don't come up straight. That's there. There. And then we need a switch here. Like that. Beautiful. And now, what is the easiest way to get up here? what we'll do is come up and across here because if we look at the sawmill it takes two logs to make one plank so I actually want to pick up logs here as well so if we come over this way we can share tracks with the train that's gonna go back and forth there and that's what we're gonna do That's what we're going to do. Suppose we can come out straight some more. I think that's straight. That looks straight to me. Pretty much. And then we want to we want to go this way around. Yeah, we definitely want to go that way around. We'll come out like that. And like that. Alrighty. It's nice and flat here. That is pretty wonderful. Now that, well, well, we need to go around that. Um, this spot wasn't that flat. Let's, hmm. Can we turn this into a tunnel? We cannot. It's a shame. Let's try going back a bit and see if we then can turn it into a tunnel. Yes, we can. Wonderful.
there. And then we need to turn it into a bridge to get over the here. So can we do that? We can. I think this is actually fine. Crossing both the roads and the train tracks. Perfect. Ooh, and then we want the train station in here. Let's see, where do we want that? Uh, hmm. That can be a terminus. Right. Something like. Hmm. Something like that. Maybe a little bit. It needs to be one crack. That'll work. Right, so if we pull the tracks out, now we need to come back a little bit. Probably something like that. Let's put the station in here as well. And that is a terminus as well, but with two tracks. And we'll pull it back here. And have it something like that. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. So what we could do is put in tracks here. So we want it to come out on this side. Like that. And then we just need to go straight in. Like that. Beautiful. And then there's this track over here. I think we need to come down a little bit so that we can get a curve here. It looks something like. There and we just come straight up here and hmm, why won't you connect in? Fine. Is that? That's right. There. Beautiful. That's all the tracks in for this part. Let's fix the roads up here so that we are connected. And figured as much.
that. And we'll do that. Perfect. And then we need to connect this up. And that. Alrighty. Alrighty then. Now, we of course need to get the tools going down here and into this station. We're going to turn this, we're going to edit this station, configure it, and we're going to put in some more tracks. And we're going to put in a cargo platform. There we go. And the cargo platform is on the wrong side. Well, let's pause for a second. Go in and configure this again. Hmm. Yeah, so I can't. Alright. So we're going to have to come up and over here. Can we do that? The question. Again, I'm really sorry that sometimes the screen is a, or the video is a little bit shaky. There is absolutely nothing I can do about it. I have tried everything I know to try, and I just can't figure it out. I just can't figure it out. Now, we want to turn it into a bridge. Well, we can't do that, but then where do we go? If we bulldoze this field, that will make it quite a bit easier, I think. And then come down here. See, that works. But, uh, can we actually... No. Hmm. Yeah, I know that the main connection will be interrupted. We'll put it back in somehow. Right now, I just want to get across. Well, it might actually be easier it will be easier to turn this into a bridge. So if we do like that, and then come down here. Like that. to turn this into a bridge so we need to pull that back quite a bit more mm. 
Start turning a little bit here. Eleven is fine. Now, if we put in the road connection first, no, we. I think uh, I have an idea of what I want to do. Let's come up to here, and then. Collision. We don't have a collision. We do. We do. Right. Right. You're coming out again. This where the tracks. No collision. Beautiful. Good, good, good. That worked. Now, for this main road connection. I want to, first of all, start the game playing again. We have some money coming in. And then we want road. here not like that though you up. Okie dokie. And then we can hook the field up or the farm up there. All right. Now, we did take out some signals, didn't we? Let's just turn the signals. So the last signal is there. We need a signal down here or something. All right. Let's put in a signal there. Okie dokie. Very, very good. Now we need to... Oh, we need to hook this up still, don't we? It might be a good idea. Go. All right. 
let's stick some signals on this bad boy. I think I'll stick in the signals real quick and uh, then I'll be back because the screen gets really or the recording gets really shaky when I'm putting in the signals. So I'll put in the signals and be back in a jiffy. Alrighty, we are all signaled up and I also went ahead and created the lines. So we have uh, chunking uh, plank transfer, that's this line up here. Then we have uh, Shahud uh, logs and planks, that's this one going here. And then of course we have, uh, where is it, Manila tools, which is going right here. So that is perfect. So now all we need to do is put on some vehicles. Let's turn this stuff off. Hopefully the map won't be too twitchy. Okay, so I put in a depot up here. So we need to buy vehicles. Let's uh, go ahead and play the game because this is going to be expensive. So buy vehicles. And we got a new uh, train. So what is this? 55 kilometer top, hour, top speed instead of 45. That's pretty nice. Then this one has 60 kilowatts and 26 kilonewtons. This has 140 and 30. Right, so that is definitely a better train. It's also quite a bit more expensive, but I think I'm okay with that. Uh, let's add one of those. And then we need flat cars, I think, right? Yep, yeah. so that can do logs and planks. So add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight of those. Mm. Yeah, let's add eight of those. How many can it do without going down to four? So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So twelve it can do without going down to four. Sorry about that. I just needed to tell the cat off a bit. So 12, that would make it cost 3 million. That means we have money for one train. Hmm. Well, let's just go with eight for now. And we'll buy a vehicle. Where is it? Didn't we get it? No. No, we didn't get it. Five vehicle. One of you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five. There we go. And we'll set you on the Shahud logs and planks. And out comes the train. Let's take a look at it. It's a brand new train. Oh, that's pretty. That is a pretty train. All right. Very nice train. I like it. I like it a lot. Now we will ride it. Uh, but that will probably be in the next episode that we take a ride on this train because we also need a train for uh, do we really need to go with this I don't think so let's do this one and then it's box cars for the tools one two three four five hmm you know what? We will go with this one. 
and say one, two, three, four. Now, before we do this, yeah, I don't care. It, they don't cost extra to run or anything. They just get higher emissions and I don't really care about that. So how we need to put our cities on. Manila, do you want 27 tools? That is not a whole lot. I should have checked that before I made the lines. Okay, never mind. So up here, my vehicles. I am going to go with this one. And we'll stick four cars on for now, because that will basically, that's what it wants. So buy that and set you on Manila Tools. There that comes. Now where's the planks train? There, do you have planks on you? You do, 56 planks, beautiful. Now I am hoping that these guys will produce even though we only have a demand of 27 they should produce anyway i think and just deliver it down to the tools factory and the tools factory will just consume it i think so we'll buy another of these with one two three four five six seven eight and buy that and set you on chunking transfer all right so here comes the plank train let's see how much it makes one point two million I like it and it got a few planks with it And down here, we have one log. That is not a lot of logs. That is not a lot of logs. Well, hopefully this starts cranking up the speed. And on this line, I have told it not to pick up. Uh, if we look here, I have told it uh, not that line, uh, this line. I have told it not to load anything here at uh, Hudoapat, which is this station, because I don't want it to pull up on stuff there. It has two logs where where's the thing it's there it's only coming down with two hmm well that won't make a lot of money There's the cool train. So now this will start producing. Very good. Alrighty. Now I think we do want another train on on this line. Now you are coming up with 56 right here. So I think next time this train is down here, we will put another train on the line. How many 
flanks do we have waiting up here? 26, very nice. You've got 14 logs. Okay, it's speeding up. It's speeding up. All right. There's our log train. That's actually, we didn't see what. All right, come on. Take it. What does it look like with cargo on it? Those are some very neat logs. Very neatly stacked logs. Cool. Auto save. Alrighty then. Now, one thing is that if we turn on cities again, we have Sushou and Songshan over here that also want tools. Now, it does mean that we need to hook them up to our passenger network before we can ship tools from over here to over, over to those two. But that's not a problem, I think. Because what we'll do is we will pull a line out from here and head over to Sushou. We build a bridge here and come into Sushou. And then we will do a ferry from Sushou over to Songshan, I think. That would hook both of them up to our passenger network, which is a requirement before we can ship goods to them. So I think that's going to be uh, the next step, hooking those up with passengers and then hooking them up with tools. Because that will, of course, make this a lot more uh, productive. Go away with all that. Alright, and you are coming down with 35 planks. Now, it takes one plank to make one tool. Now, I would have thought the tools would take uh, steel as well, but I guess not. I guess not. And we're making good money. More than two million uh, this year in 1860. That's pretty darn nice. Two point three. Yeah, we're doing good. Now where's the train? It's there. Let's pause. And go up here. And buy another view. Actually. Yeah, let's buy. Buy, add. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Buy you. Set you on box and planks. And go. How, how many do you have? 18. Okay. Now let's have a look at our lines real quick. How are they all doing? So Manila tools and chunking plant, plant transfer are losing money. That's understandable. They're brand new. And haven't really gotten any goods yet. Uh, everything else is making money. Shanghai crude oil and fuel is doing really well. Two million. The Shahut logs and planks is doing well. 1.6 million already. That's fast. Our two expresses are doing well. Our coach is doing quite okay. Yeah, I am pretty happy with this. Pretty happy with this. Very, very pleased. Very, very pleased. All right. I like it. I like it a lot. Now, one thing I also have considered 
is if we turn on these two, we have an oil, oil well up here. These two guys want fuel. So how about hooking them up with a ferry from uh, down here from Chongqing? Send a ferry up there, send a ferry up there. That puts them on the passenger network. And then instead of picking up oil from this oil well, pick up oil from this oil well. Sail it down here to be for all the processing to be done. And then send it back to Hyderabad and to Tainan. Some of it. But some of it will obviously go to uh, Shanghai. I think that could be well worth it. I think that could be well worth it. Now do we have... Um, there's a little bit of fuel waiting here, but not a whole lot. I think we need maybe to upgrade these trains. Would be nice. That's going to be expensive. Let's let's try it. Let's see how expensive that would be. No, actually, you know what? We are out of time. So we will check out how expensive it would be to upgrade our uh, oil trains in the next episode. So again, uh, Matthew H, 1988, congratulations on a free copy of uh, Transport Fever 2. I hope you enjoy it. And thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.